Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Tuesday. Uh, it is Tuesday the 23rd, and it's 13 degrees Celsius out, which is why I can wear shorts and a t-shirt. It is cool, like if I went for a big walk, I wouldn't want to be wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but uh, maybe a long sleeve t-shirt and pants. 13 is uh, probably that uh, kind of, I can go for bike rides uh, anywhere from 12 and up in, in temperature. I, I don't mind going for a bike ride with shorts and, and a regular jersey and stuff uh, because you generate enough heat and my fingers don't get cold enough. So, but today is a little windy. It's supposed to rain today. I was totally expecting it to be raining. Not all day, but I didn't expect it to be dry this morning, as dry as it is. So I'm guessing it's going to rain later on. Last night I got to cut the lawn uh, because uh, after coming back from Sault Ste. Marie with Paul and, and Marc Andre, I had uh, there my my lawn is has like several different growth spurts. So. Uh, at the back, it doesn't grow very fast. Uh, behind the house, it grows really fast. The front of the house doesn't grow as fast. So I had to definitely cut that down because um, I'm gonna be busy over the next couple days. Plus it's gonna rain. And uh, you might as well get the grass down a little bit before uh, another spurt comes. And then it's too, it's really long and then you gotta cut it twice and it's like a pain in the butt. Anyway, so uh, I made a mistake last week. I said uh, when Paul and I were going to go to the concert on Friday, no, Saturday, uh, we went to the Tickle Toad first and uh, we had the steak sandwich, which was phenomenal. And then he had like a peppercorn um, gravy that was a bonus. Uh, and again, Paul's, Paul's amazing chef. Uh, kind of whipped us up a little extra something special and again their their steak fries are amazing so we had that for dinner then we went to the matthew good band not dave matthews band so i got that i always get those two uh bands they have nothing to do with each other whatsoever but uh i guess i have dave matthews in the forefront of my brain uh as opposed to the dave oh, sorry the see the matthew good band it's the whole Matthew thing, it messes me up. Dave Matthews and Matthew Good Band, completely different, both great bands. Uh, so we got to see it at a bar in the beaches area uh, of Toronto, and it's called The Beach, go figure. And I'm not sure how old the venue is, it looks really new. Uh, easy parking, cheap parking, great venue. Uh, we had to, we got, we're probably, I don't know, maybe a hundred in line. The place was probably sold out. It fits about 2,500 people. Uh, the whole floor area is uh, general admission. And then they have like an upper area and uh, I think you have to have special tickets for that area. Uh, I think you can go up there and stand at the back and, and watch the, the bands from there, but you uh, can't sit down up there. Uh, and there's a bar up there. There There is two bars in the main area. Um, I wish they had washrooms at either side of the the venue because we just happen to be, let's say, stage or audience left. And uh, so, we, like I said, we're about the 100th, 100 to 200 people in. Uh, so we got right up to the front uh, where, the, where they have that fence gate area. And, uh, and so, which is great and we're always going to try and get there early just for those kind of situations because leaning on the on the gate and uh, instead of just standing in the middle of a, a concrete floor uh it's just nice to have that and nobody in front of you and and uh so but we were there was enough people that they kind of took all the middle area and then paul just decided to go to the far left area and uh we got a, a good but we're right in front of the stack of speakers so the first band that came out, the thing was called Valiant, V-I, or Valiant, and she has a great voice, uh, great music, but it was just stinging loud in our ears. And after the opening act was done, uh, our friend Brian came by, he likes to like wander and stuff. He came back and he's like, oh, they're giving out free earplugs. And I'm like, great. So I zipped over and grabbed earplugs for Paul and I. So the rest of the concert we had earplugs in. Um, but the next day for, I'd say at least 12 hours plus after the concert, my ears were ringing. 
probably probably 20 hours after the concert my ears were ringing and uh, but the, I'm guessing I didn't completely lose hearing uh, uh, because of the earplugs but I wish I had them at the beginning uh, I'm gonna definitely bring earplugs from now on it's just too like especially when you're standing right at the front in front of the speakers if we were standing anywhere else in the venue it would have been perfectly fine but again the trade-off is you're gonna be standing right at the front uh, where the speakers are you got to have your earplugs in uh, yeah so that's what we did Saturday so yeah like we went to the toad had dinner went to the concert watched the concert came home went to bed I slept at Paul's house because we had to get up somewhat early in the morning and then drive to um, Sault Ste. Marie uh, then we picked up Mark Andre now we went to the hotel first got all, unloaded all of our stuff went to pick up Mark Andre checked out where he lives and then we uh, went to a mall walked around the mall noticed that there's uh, a movie theater in the mall and Civil War was playing so we watched that and it was all right like it was a little depressing and and uh, yeah I, I wouldn't I I probably would never watch it again uh, it's a, an indifferent uh, on my movie scale um, but before that we went to uh, Mark Andre's friend worked at the boiler room so and apparently they have amazing pizza so we went to the boiler room uh, we each ordered a different pizza so we could share and see which one was the best I think I picked the best one it was called the the steakhouse and uh, we put anchovies on them as well so we had a couple beers we had our pizzas then we went to the movie then we went back to Mark Andre's house had another beer and waited Paul didn't have any beer because he was driving uh, and um, then Paul and I went back to the hotel went to sleep then we woke up in the morning uh, went back pick up Mark Andre went to the breakfast pig uh, ate I treated them to breakfast and we made a video as well which I hope you guys uh, enjoy which is going to go up uh, right now it's just after 12 so I think at 3 30 I have it going to be launched so I hope you enjoy that video uh, again, I gonna ask them if they don't if they don't mind being in a video they said no problem and uh, but uh, the trip all the way out there and all the other stuff that we did I didn't videotape any of it because I just wanted to relax and hang out with my best buddy and his oldest son so after the breakfast pig was all done, uh, we went back to Marc Andre's house. Paul and I did check out of the hotel when we left to go pick up Marc Andre to go to breakfast, uh, so that way we didn't have to go back again. So we just went to the breakfast pig, ate, went to Marc Andre's house, uh, got all of his stuff together, jammed it in. The only thing we couldn't bring back was uh, it's like a like a bar fridge, um, and uh, it wouldn't fit. And so that uh, we have to leave that for the. Um, the people that are coming in next uh, it's one of those houses that somebody owns and then rents it out to multiple uh, students for the college and uh, so there's a girl there that's staying there for another year and then two more people were moving in so uh, Mark Andre told the girl to make the guys bid for her or something not not for money but plead plead a case as to why they need it over the other person anyway so that's we had to leave that that's the only thing we have to leave behind and then it took us uh, just over six hours to get home and we had a couple of coffees on the way home and uh anyway it was a fun trip and, and it was it was nice seeing mark andre again and catching up on on what's going on uh i think so he's back for the summer and then he's going out to thunder bay for two more years to take his bachelor uh, on what he took in the college that he, he just did at Sioux uh, College. But right now I gotta get down to um, Bradford. Uh, I just wanted to uh, have three birthday cards to send out uh, for my patrons uh, that are at the, uh, the birth, birthday and, and postcard level. Uh, and it's April, uh, Trista, and Joshua. I think two of them are in April and one of them is in May. Uh, but I always try to send them out, you know, seven to ten days before so that they get it before their birthday. I've, I try my best, guys. <laughs> Sometimes uh, it, it, I'm, I'm running a little late because of other stuff that's going on in our lives. So I try my best to get them out there. That's why I have my calendar remind me ten days before your birthdays so I can get my button gear, get the card done. Uh, Carol and I sign it, we put the cat's names on it, we always give you guys a little extra something inside the letter and just wish you a happy birthday. So happy birthday April, Joshua and Trista and uh, 
Yeah, so have a great birthday and, and uh, I hope you enjoy your day with family and friends. So right now I'm just heading down to Bradford to do my workout. Uh, and then I gotta go home, shower, and uh, finish up my editing and then hang with Carol for the rest of the night. So uh, thanks guys for hanging out with me today and getting caught up on all my stuff that I'm doing in my in my day-to-day -day things that I'm doing. But I uh, hope you guys have a great day and we'll uh, see you in the next vlog. See ya.